What is going on, everyone, and welcome to Cart 6T3. My name is Ben. Thank you very much for stopping by. Real quick, if you didn't mind hitting a like on this video, possibly subscribe to the channel, that would be fantastic. And I would love you till the ends of time and stuff like that. So <laughs> I hope everybody had an amazing 4th of July. Uh, I was hoping to do something for the 4th, but I... Uh, now, for the channel, I, I did stuff. <laughs> we went and uh, we watched fireworks out to our local amusement park, Darien Lake. Um, it's almost Buffalo-ish area. Uh, anyway, we went up there, you know, thought, you know, they're going to have great fireworks. We might as well go up and do that. I hear, uh, you know, there's there's a bunch of racing going on and I kept on getting asked, hey, you going to this on the 3rd? And uh, even today, I'm recording this on Friday. I'm like, no, I'm saving my stuff. Um planning on running the Firecracker 40s at AMS tomorrow evening. Uh, I'm going to run two classes, uh, probably 375 and 400, so 80 complete laps. I uh, should really put myself to the test, but I have an entire week. My, my shop shut down for the week. Uh, boss is going on vacation with his family, so the shop shut down. I'm going RVing with my wife and my sister and her husband. That should be fun. Also, I just, I'm keeping you up to date in the life of Ben because, you know, you you care. <laughs> you probably don't. Anyway, uh, I thought, you know, as I was prepping my Burris, uh, <laughs> which will be the, you know, kind of addressed here, uh, this video has been in my list for a while and I thought, you know what, why don't, why don't I just go ahead and knock this out? This will, I think this information will suit somebody newer to carting well. So let's uh, go ahead and get into I this. I just noticed my uh, my microphone thing's blinking. I don't know if that means it's going to die or not. So I may be reshooting this. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, we are talking about uh, stagger of tires. Uh, you know, stagger is the uh, discrepancy between the right and left side. Uh, for all you newbies, you want stagger in the cart. It makes it turn. Anyway, so tires, you can go ahead and grow them and shrink them. I have a bunch of videos on that, on how to do that, but most tires will not stay where you initially set them. It's just, uh, it's part of the game, and in particular, Burris are a mother, a son of a puppers, a, 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 a bad, <laughs> I like Burris, I like tracks that run Burris, I, I'm, a, I'm a connoisseur of all sorts of tires, you know that I'm an open tire kind of advocate type of do, be, dude, um, <laughs> So I like tracks that run burst tires. I like running burst tires. I think they're a fantastic tire. But what they do not do is hold stagger worth a crap. So I thought that I'm sure that newcomers to the sport are going to have as many, if not more, problems keeping stagger the same as anybody else, myself included. And all week long, I've been filling up my right sides in order to keep the stagger in them. So uh, tip number one is in between races, do not just, you know, you, you come off track, you wash your tires, you know, you may surface them throughout the week. If you are intending on, say, your right side tires, keeping the size that they are, you want to inflate them. Keep air in them. Now, the, I bring the Spurs thing up because Burris are notorious, at least to me, for bleeding off pressure. So you want to keep track of that during the week. Um, that... They, they have a tendency. It used to always be where it was stamped like, you know, SS33, SS11, where it was. It always used to bleed out through there, but there could be other. It could be your bead. It also could be your valve stem. There, there are plenty other ways. It might not just be the tire. It might be old rims, which might be a contributing factor in my case because I do have a whole bunch of old rims there. Um, but anyway, I digress. That Burris always seemed to have a little harder time keeping air in them. So if you want to keep some, you know, keep your right sides up, um, you, you're you going to want to keep those inflated. Now, as far as size wise, I might go with, a, you know, if you're going to measure it, inflate them to a quarter inch past where you want them to be. That's what, you know, my suggestion when you're growing a tire is quarter inch past, heat the tire, whatever you do, hit it with cool water. You know, you can, you can look up on cart 63 and find a way to grow a tire, but if you want to maintain that size, I say go quarter inch bigger than where you want that tire to be for the next race, and you should be good to go. Now, you might want to keep on it. Just make sure that those tires are remaining inflated. As far as deflation on the other side, if you don't want your left sides to grow at all, real simple. Let the air out of them, and it's uh, that probably be number two. If your left sides uh, you do not want to grow, 
let the air out of them. I know it sounds simplistic, but they can't grow without, you know, that that heat thing is going to be an issue if it's hot in your barn or whatever. And tip number three, if you're concerned about the size of your tires, do not keep your tires inside the trailer. Uh, they The heat in trailers, we all know that you've been in there, Especially when you put tire racks and they're up at the top, hot air rises, that's going to start to mess with it. It's either going to, you know, if your left sides are holding air, it's going to want to expand those molecules. It's going to want to grow the left sides. Eh, you don't want that. On the right sides, it might not be so bad, but just something to keep in, uh, keep in your mind that it it's probably best to take them out of your trailer Every single time you race, or at least the ones you're concerned about size-wise, bring them into your garage or wherever, you you know, a nice climate-controlled area to where they're not going to be going through, you know, swells of hot or cold type of thing. And the final tip that I have to give you, I just learned this one last year. When you come off track, if you're running the same set of tires, put air in, say, your right side tires so they don't, they don't shrink before you wash them. You have to think that when I, you know, I or anybody else has instructed you how to grow tires, what do you do? You build a bunch of, you know, air is going to expand inside the tire, okay? And then you're going to add an element of heat, aka racing. When you come off the track, your tires are still going to be warm. And if you immediately douse them with water, that may or may not cause that tire to shrink. I thought that was a really good point. And I thought, you know what? This is something, all you got to do is just give a little blip of air. Just, just a, and, uh, and, and if to say, if you're running something like two, you know, three or four pounds like that, bump it up to six, you know, it, it's not going to hurt it at all to be inflated just a little bit as you wash it, as you clean that tire, it's just not going to allow that, you know, if it happened to shrink by chance with that heat or whatever, it's not going to shock the water. Isn't going to shock that tread there. So, uh, just some quick tips, you know, some of these videos aren't going to be very, it's probably best too, because man, I can. There's a couple of these, and I, I go ahead and record it. I'm like, 17 minutes? I talked for 17 freaking minutes. But I thought this was a, a fairly useful thing to talk to people about because I kind of been dealing with it all all uh, all week here that I got my, my I plan on running Burris 11s. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the tire choice come tomorrow uh, with, uh, you know, nights not being as hot. It hasn't been, you know, super duper hot, not dry. There's been a bunch of rain. Uh, I think that AMS is probably going to have a bit of moisture in it and 11s are going to be the choice over 33. So uh, I still haven't gotten to experiment with my old tires that have been prepped a little heavier against, you know, say newer 33s. I haven't got to that point yet because the track hasn't gotten there yet. We're still on 11s, but now I have uh, two sets. I've been sizing this other set of 11s just as backup. I figured 80 laps is a lot to ask out of one set of tires. So I'm going to run, you know, two sets and just be able to come in and flop sets, and then, uh, and there you go for that. So uh, I hope this, you know, finds finds you well. I hope this information finds you well. That you know, maybe it's something you just haven't thought of, and oh man, that's a good idea. Or if you're frustrated, you know, you get to the track the next week, you're like, why, why have my right side shrunk so much? That might be why. You may have, you know, not put an air in them, or you might be storing them in your trailer and the, the heat is really messing with them, or the cold, you know, it depends on what climate you're in. You know, maybe that's causing that. But definitely, if you're keeping your right sides, I'd say blow them up to at least the, you know, where you want them. Uh, keep the pressure that way, or a quarter inch above really is not going to hurt the, hurt anything. Um, just for the next week, obviously left sides, let the air out of them if you want to keep those guys small. So there you go, guys. Uh, another video, and uh, I guess I will see you in the next one come next week or a short or whatever I feel like doing. So <laughs> there you go. All right, guys. Later.